Before we get to your scheduled video, please remember that likes and comments tell YouTube to promote our work to other people, and subscribing to the channel tells you when something new drops. You can also head to the link tree in the description to peruse my books, join us on Discord, or support us on Patreon. You can get episodes of Journey of Wrestling and Violent Profiles early, as well as a load of other treats. Even just a dollar a month earns you a name drop for being cool. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Wrestling. Wrestling. I kind of like hiccuped in the middle of that. That was, <laughs> yeah, I thought you were doing a bit, so I no, went with it. No, I wasn't. Uh, uh, we got mail. We got mail, and that's letting us know that CM Punk is cool with us, because he had a match with Jimmy Jacobs, parentheses, singles. Good for him. You know Good what else us. is cool with us? Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Uh, yeah, it's it's alright, yeah, I guess. Um, I was speaking more of uh, Harmony, oh. Rob, oh. a guy from Ohio, oh. Ashen Killer 7-Eleven, oh. Strucity, K-T-L. Wow! Mm-hmm. All very cool people. Why did you list them? Because they gave me a dollar at least. You, you can do the same thing on Patreon, you get episodes of this show a week early, and uh, I call you cool, which is legally binding. In all 50 U.S. states. And anyway. Cuba. <laughs> Weird Parts of Guam. Uh, we are two shows to Death Before Dishonor. We have been kind of winging it. But it's going well. So uh, why stop the gravy train? I think everybody should be nice and rested now. We have given people a pretty decent amount of weeks off. Brody Lee's the most rest... Most, he's 23... Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing all right. So long as we don't do anything crazy between now and the pay-per-view, we should be okay. All right. Um, well, I mean, I, to be honest, this m- keeping most of our feuds to just segments and having our wrestling matches just be random other bullshit is honestly kind of working out for us. <laughs> it is. Um... If we had more juice, I would have a recommendation for the new Challenger feud. Uh, but we don't, and I don't want to risk it. So, Do you want to just stick with that generally for this pay-per-view cycle and see where that takes us? Because look how over that is. Yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. Um, so, let's get that. They need a thing to do. Uh, what did they do last week? Let's do something that's got some some action to it, because we're ramping up to the end of this. It might so, just be a simple fight. I'd say fight, yeah. No, nah, we don't want to do aftermatch stuff. Interview attack's not bad. You want to run with that? Sure. Okay. Um, let's throw the lesser producer on that one. Yeah, Paul's been fucking up recently. Uh- oh, no, he was the successful one last time. Um... Okay, Jay Lethal versus Colt Cabana. That actually could maybe use a match. Okay. Um, do we want Jay to still look good going into the pay-per-view before his ultimate defeat? Or should this be Colt battling back? Pitch pitch me what you're... What, what's the deal? What's the idea? Well, I was, I was thinking either a, a two-on-two or a three-on-three. Three. Just not nothing complicated. Let's do the three on three. That sounds interesting. Okay. But do you think Jay should win or Colt? I don't care, honestly. They're pretty they're pretty even up. Um, I think Jay should look strong next week. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so if Colt's gonna not get beat down the whole pay-per-view cycle, it's this show. Okay. Versus Colt Cabana and some guys that might be okay. Nice. That's yeah. exciting. I am excited. Yeah. Uh, That's obviously the main event. Yeah, obviously. Um, you know what? I think that can actually really go places. So I, since we're no longer doing two singles matches, I'm going to hire a uh, barrack for a main event hype. Sounds good. Okay. Our other feuds. Um, Nigel McGinnis should be upset about the attack from the Revolution. So that should be a promo, 100%. Um, Split interviews, okay. We could grind it up some. This is a few that's just starting out. I'd rather give it... I'd rather give it the the goose start. So start with something more established. Okay. Like a promo battle or something that's already gold-starred. 
Yeah. We got the old backstage confrontation. Yeah. Let's do that one. That's gold starred. I mean, both of these guys are capable. It's basically just to get it up and going. Yeah. Uh, okay. That takes us to Punk and Danielson. Uh, you know what? You advocated for it last week. I say let's do it here. The Warner? I'm for it. Uh, but with a fight. Steen could be there. Steen could be there, it says. <laughs> no, he's not there. He's nowhere near there. It's fine. Shut up. Uh, what was the other feud? Oh, Zach is down here. I forget. And Ibushi. They're so over, but not. They're doing great work, but... I mean, this is really going to increase their cachet. Being in the weird, ongoing backstage fight club that is Ring of Honor's fucking avant-garde camera work with, you know, two of the biggest stars in the company. Mm-hmm. I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, I think that. I think so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. So. Do we have the tag team feud on there? Yeah, right yeah, there. Okay, I was. Yeah. Tag- it, two things being named the same thing was really confusing the yeah, shit out we, of me. Yeah, we usually try not to do that. We, <laughs> we goofed. They'll be over soon. Um. um so. Generico needs a match. Generico needs his match. Uh, who can he go over? Probably this guy here, right? Because Marcos is is too close to the bottom. Okay. So, booked. Put that there. Get that guy over a little bit. What's Chad Collier doing? He's a heel. What is he? Just nothing. He's just a guy. He's just a solid hand. He's just a guy. Um... Matt Stryker could use a win. Okay. Homicide could use a win. Jack Evans is doing fine. Uh, we haven't used Daphne this cycle yet, or Rebecca Knox for that matter. True. Um, let's do a Rebecca Knox promo. Since we're training her charisma? Yeah. She finds her vlog camera, she steals it back from whoever it was before. I want to say that goes off of producer stuff, though. It does. So let's just do, she's a baby face, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's just do a spirited promo. Uh, let's throw the producer on that, Paul. There we go. She's up there, so. Um, let's get some wrestling. Yeah, yeah, more wrestling. More wrestling. Um, Daphne is a heel, uh, but we want them to look good right now, so should she be eating a loss? Well, is there a face she could beat? Um, like somebody with a decent morale, win record, and secondary concern. Jack Evans. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll book that. Uh, wow, we have a lot of segments this week. That reputation gain really spiked us. Well, it's more that we had like a weirdly small amount last week. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure what causes it, that. It's our Fed's reputation. Um, who is a heel Matt Stryker could win over? I would say Abyss, but he's 0-2. Um, uh, you know, it's sort by morale. Highest, find me the highest morale heel. Oh, the highest morale heel. Um, Jimmy Jacobs, CM Punk, Brody Lee... Stevie Richards, Larry Sweeney, Zack Sabre Jr. He's doing stuff, though. Chad Collier. Chad Collier. Chad Collier. Uh-huh. Who are we putting him up against? Uh, Switch it. Matt Stryker. That's because yeah. <laughs> I brain knows where he is on the card. <laughs> okay. Um, three matches left. Is there a face Abyss can beat? Who's a high morale face that looks punchable? We got Steen, but we don't want him on a losing streak necessarily. Got Slick Wagner Brown, uh, but he's in a thing. Same with Alex. Well, if you're not going to... What was Alex's win record just now? 
Yeah, it's abysmal. His singles win record Holy sucks. shit! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think these guys were going to break up as a result of losing this. Yes, that was the plan. Let, let me note that down, because I also think I forgot that. Uh, Sex Panthers break up after title loss. On show, backstage... That's for us to decide in two weeks when we record again. <laughs> Just being honest. Oh. So Abyss needs a win. Um, I, I could throw him up against H.C. Luke. I, Abyss is a solid talent who does a lot of work. Yeah. I would be happy putting him over someone in the main event. Okay. Um, that is like Steen. Steen? Steen sounds good. Okay. He's just zero two. He's fine. He'll live. Steen's a good pair of hands too. We we really we really rely on him a lot. Uh, we got space for segments if we want to use segments. Yeah. What? All the feuds are on the card, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, let's slander a competitor. Oh yeah, great call. Fantastic call. Uh, singles. Who's got the charisma? Who is not busy? Is Jimmy actually doing anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. He was doing things last week. He beat yeah. CM Punk last so week. So Jimmy... Uh... Oh, it's against Revolution! Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah, he's he's the leader of the Revolution. He's just talking about, you know... You want to see the Revolution? We will show you the Revolution. The Revolution is here at Ring of Honor. Um, and we got another segment to f- put a match right there in between those two. I guess we do. Holy cats. I, I feel segment blessed. We are not really using Homicide and Alex Shelley right now. Or not Alex Shelley. No, so we are using a guy. It's Jack Evans. He's losing to Daphne. Homicide's still mad. We could get him a win. Uh, what heel could he beat? There's not a lot of heels left who aren't super no. busy. Except, uh, and Okada's a face. I was going to say, I don't think Okada's doing anything, is he? Face versus face matches are generally okay, but Okada's in a pissed off mood too, and he's more valuable. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, they're not that far apart. One of them is four stars, the other one is three. I see what you mean. <laughs> What about... Will the segment improve their morale? We can give it a shot. Um, okay, because they go Okada and Homicide. Uh, Don't do a silly segment. No, that's not the plan. They could just do a promo battle. They just, they just come out and yell at each other for a while? Yeah. Maybe they're both complaining. This is, this is, you know what? This is um experimental, but I'm for it. We're we're pretty promo heavy this week, but that is what up, it is. Yeah, right there. Good. Yeah, there's we got it. We got double stacked here. Perfect. But it's fine. It's fine. So let's let's run this thing. One hell of a of a first show. Of this particular episode. Yeah. Now this is the first time we've ever done this. We're really good for that. Yeah. It's intuitive. That's how intuitive Journey, Journey of, of Wrestling, Wrestling is. Yeah. yeah, pick up your copy today. It's only like 15 bucks. Okay. But Elgin unironically, Arco. it's fun. Yeah. I mean, clearly we've been playing it for years now. Yeah. Uh, it was okay. I'm going to blame Dunn on that one. That's a fair thing to do, honestly. Uh, interview attack. Let's have the Sex Panthers looking good, right? That's up to you. If they're broken up, I don't really care whether or not they look good. Good point. Well, who's being the aggressor is the question. Oh. Uh, mm. The heels or the jilted faces? Well, the idea is to break them up, so the heels. Okay. Really, really fucking rub the boot in. Hot segment, it worked. These guys are mad. Hey, nice. Okay. All right. Did Pay we on. find a new thrown together tag team to replace... <laughs> the Sex Panthers? I'm done with uh, whatever that green guy's name is. I'm going to hang out with Okada now. He gets it. 
<laughs> um, Striker, we're getting a win here because it was crap morale. Yeah. Wish it was okay. The guys, those guys sure had a Ring of Honor match. Meanwhile, oh my god! Yes. That's so good. How can you? How can you be watching fucking WWE when this is the stuff we're putting out? I know, right? What are they doing that's so good? Uh, Daphne beat Jack Evans there, as was planned. Five star slander competition. That's Jimmy Jacobs just Jimmy talking Jacobs about. Just Come on, guys! Ring product. Um, Nigel McGuinness backstage confronts Brody Lee. Yep, finds him separate from the rest of the Revolution. Five stars, easy. Another hot segment. Just killing it. It's just hot segments everywhere. Uh, and Abyss gets a win over Kevin's team. Yes. Uh, maybe. Yeah, okay. That wasn't bad. Was well, not bad, guys. Good job. Oh, he's starting, starting to get, get over. over. Nice. Good job, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Thank producer. You, producer Focus. Look, she ain't gonna get good unless yeah. we give her a mic. So this is where the Briscoes and Cabana win. Maybe they were surprised. Maybe that's what the main event package thing was. Is like, how is Colt going to find the team? It's the Briscoes. You know it was the Briscoes. It's the They're Briscoes. Not doing it's the Briscoes. Why are you being goofy? You're sending the crowd home. Happy. Oh, my God. And they got, it was a super hot match. Yeah, it was hot. Good job, guys. Good job, Doug everybody. Williams just got over. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Williams just got over. Commence Prince Nana dancing. Uh, <laughs> that was a uh, sixty-eight to bucks. That was a four and a half star show. Come on! Yeah, can we can Come we defeat the on. WWE already? Jeez. Well, they are losing fans in the double dozens. So, uh, ah, they won more. Ooh, we got a lot though. NJPW is still going down. Power Slam got fans too. Boo. 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 The ancient enemy Power Slam. Okay. Go home show for Death Before Dishonor. Uh, We did really good on this. So, this is what I wanted to do last week. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Okay. Because it's great for everyone's morale. Okay. We are doing a multi-man tag team match. Let me check their stamina real quick. Their fatigue. Yeah, they're great because we haven't been doing anything with them. Uh, Radio Silence, Los Temerarios, or no, not Radio Silence. Right, right. Uh, Sex Panthers, Ring Crew Express, and the Carnage Crew. In a big title match. Where Sweet and Sour and Stevie are going to use chicanery to win. We don't need to put that in there. They just are. I have been told, reliably, that putting people in title matches, so long as they don't have one of those backstage diva style traits... Makes everybody happy, even if they lose. You know what? They will use... What they will do is... is The, the chicanery is they will use the, the seeds they have been planting over the month to separate the two members of the team they're feuding with and pin one of them. I like that. And, and I think the setup to this match is, you know what? You guys have been dogging us and saying we're not honorable and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Fine. We're so honorable, we'll give you your tag title shot next week. In fact, we'll give everybody a tag title shot. <laughs> and that doesn't sit very well with uh, with the Sex Panthers. Um, okay. Let's check the fatigue, especially going into a pay-per-view. I think we should be good, though. Uh, generic. Well, if that's our highest, we're doing fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything's clear. Everything's we've, we've been We've been managing it well. So let's actually get Generico another win as he rises up the ranks. Um... Over who? God, I want to just take a moment. Scroll up. That's our main event. <laughs> I know, right? We've really built a lot of stars. Um, don't really want to drag Steen down anymore. We might be at the point where Generico doesn't just get random wins to get his to get his shit over. He might need a microphone. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's have him do a, a promo. Um, just a heat promo. Just, yeah, just get out and say mean things about people. Let's add uh, Jessica to that. Uh, Generico. Heat promo. 
Okay. Um, our other feuds are CM Punk versus Brian Danielson for no reason other than they felt like fighting. They hate each other. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need a more reason than that. Jay Lethal, Colt Cabana for the title. Let's do this one now because Jay Lethal is going to win this segment. Um, oh, let's let's do the... Uh, oh, that's difficult, though. Let's do something with... Well, we're nearing the end of the feud, right? We're not going to try and stretch this out another month. No, no. So... Promo ambush. There we go. Yeah, promo ambush is a good solid, good solid one. There we go. All right. Um, so, Abushi. Kota Ibushi versus Zack Saber Jr. They're blowing off at the pay per view. Yeah, it's just uh, people like it, but it's just not not long for this world. I, I think. Yeah, that's true. People do really like it. It just hasn't gotten much more staleness. So, so not every feud's got to be a long time. You know what? Yeah. Oh, that's exactly. What I Thank you. Contract signing. This is going to be the last match in their series. They're not going to fight for a while. Uh, let's add our good producer to that one, just because they don't have the best charisma. Um, all right, so Nigel somebody's and absolutely Brody. going through a table in that contract. Absolutely, <laughs> Nigel and Brody and Punk and Danielson. Um, we got the segments to have them do their own thing. Yeah. Yeah, we've got eight left. Uh, this could keep... Is there something we could see ground up a bit? Oh, a tense pull apart. Gotta love that bread! Um, and then... Uh, By the way, th th that's absolutely not blowing off of the pay-per-view. <laughs> no. Um, I want something with action that's pretty well established, if we can okay. get it. We got a fight. Sounds like a good one to me. You know what? Let's get them all in there. It's time. Daphne, Jimmy, Brody, and Nigeli. Oh, it's a beatdown. Is what it is. Yes. Okay, that's our feuds. Let's do some matches. Um. Um, Xavier's doing okay. Abyss is doing okay. We've got some Briscoes here. Uh, Chad Collier exists. Mass Striker's still a little upset. He's spaghetti. You know what we can do? El Generico has his heat promo. Doug is hot for some reason. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr. has his thing going on. But they're both... That's just both segments. Yeah. So what if we just did a showcase for the lower mid card? Just had El Generico versus Jad Kohler versus Zack Sabre Jr. Just as a match to get them on the card and get them TV time. I like that. And um, I actually, to give him momentum, since he's got a storyline and Generico doesn't, I think maybe Zack should uh, win. I think that's true. Um. Okay. I put that right before his promo. He ends. Yeah. He ends the match, and like Abushi comes out with, with a contract, and he's yeah. like, "At death before dishonor, we end this." Okay. Um. <sighs> Striker's still mad. He's not, not really got anyone to fight. He's though. not as mad. No. Uh, well, you said that being in title matches gives people over. Um, Brody Lee's beating the guy down, but he could take time out of his day to whip Max Stryker's ass. Pure and title defense. Okada goes over Knox. I like that idea, too. But yeah, you could have Brody Lee beat Matt Stryker's ass. Give uh, Beat Matt Stryker and to Homicide. <laughs> um, Actually, Homicide's in the tag title thing, so never mind. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Stryker... They don't want to see. They that. don't want to see it. They they feuded recently. Um. What about? No, that's pretty much it. Um. 
Abyss's morale is not bad. Xavier, but that's heal versus heal. I say we risk them not wanting to see it. Yeah, I'd say so. It's a title match. It should be fine. He beats an ass and then walks. He, like, walk. They beat the shit out of Nigel. Nigel fights back valiantly, but the numbers advantage gets him. And at the end, Jimmy Jacobs just turns to Brody and slaps him on the chest. You got business to go handle. <laughs> Brody walks out of that segment out to the ring. Kevin, I think I'm going to use you one more time here, buddy. Oh, he's getting close to the bottom of the main event. That's fine. We'll build him back up. He's probably going to beat Samoa Joe. Uh, okay, there's that. We've got two more segments. Do we want to throw shit in here? I feel like everybody's busy. Yeah, I guess we could toss in a main event hype. You know what? Was Have Samoa one. Joe cut a promo. Do a main event hype and a, a promo Joe. Promo Joe. <laughs> That's a different guy. You got to gotta, gotta let him know. Uh, main event package. Book that. We've got both producers on the card, right? Paul Carr, Jessica Marino. Okay, cool. And then um, a singles thing. Joe for... can do a promo for his match with Kevin, for his feud with Kevin Steen. Yeah, uh, solo feud promo. Kevin Steen. Kill, kill, kill. Can we put it right after the Dead Williams thing yeah. and say that it's so Joe showing up on the TV uh, during Steen's match? And he's like outside. He's like outside, just outside the arena they currently are. You know, Kevin, you've been looking for me for a long time. I'm right here. <laughs> that's how Doug Williams that's gets his that's win. Good. I like that. All right, let's roll this go home show. Main event package. Let's hype that main event. We're so hype. Ah, uh, we got Jessica Marino 2, level 3. Perfect. Great. Zack Sabre Jr. wins this match looking good. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, all right, Kota Ibushi is going to put Zack through the table. Mm. Wow, these guys are so good. I love this feud. I'm sad it's not got more staleness to it. Looks, not everything gold can stay. Holy oh shit! Political joke is over. <laughs> because they killed Nigel. And then Brody went on to do his title thing. Oh, I wedged this in there. Oh, well. Uh, he's beating him down. And uh, Jimmy Jacobs is like, Brody, 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 relax. You have to defend your title later. And Brody's like, like, oh, yeah. Brody, you have business handle. And then Brody's like, nods, walks away. All right, Doug Williams, the troublesome bully. Hot match. Great job, guys. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> Joe. Joe cuts Yes. Uh, all right. More straight edge, as effective as ever. Brody Lee defends his title. Yep, just defends his pure championship. Cool. El Generico is here. Did we? I feel like some of this stuff got moved around. Because I'm almost positive I moved him to the bottom. Too bad. <laughs> it, it is what it is. It's not, I don't think it actually matters. Okada wins against Rebecca Knox. Yeah, Okada dragged Rebecca Knox to a great match. Ah, they both have like Rebecca three stars. Knox has a three yeah, stars. She's not bad. Um, she's got bad charisma. Is yeah, what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, so Jay Lethal looks good here on the promo ambush, going into the pay per view. Holy balls, dude! Ring of Honor is just putting out fire content this month. And sweet and sour and Stevie divide and conquer the Sex Panthers for the they, win. They are the champions. It was an all right match. Um, Worst match on the show. Yeah. Uh, Il Generico is popular now, though, so that's cool. Uh, what do we got? What do we get? Hey, it's still four and a quarter. That's awesome. Doug Williams. There was a holy a shit troublesome... moment. Oh, yeah. Suplex Kevin Steen from the apron through a table on the outside. Good lord. No wonder it got such a rating. We got 6K fans, NJPW's bleeding fans, so is Power Slam. Good. You don't deserve those 300 fans, WPR. They're ours. They belong yeah, to the and revolution. Raw is losing them too. If they didn't have such an inherent lead, I think we'd be. I think other feds would be creeping up on them. Oh, we got mail. We do have mail. What for? Oh, the skill increase. Cool. Yeah, cool. All right. All right. Eight event effects. Uh, there's streak potential. I don't really care about that. 
Ladder's good. First blood bad. No first blood matches. No first Easy blood to do. Matches. Ladder okay. match is good, though. Yes. So, Colt Cabana versus Jay Lethal. Uh, this is the blow-off between them, right? Or do we want to keep it going? 3.75 out of 6. It's going to take us to 4.25. We can... We or, could, no, I think it's 4.75. Yeah, we, we could scrape and scratch, but I don't think we need to. Yeah, monthly I, event matches at a plus one. Let's not. Yeah, I feel, I feel like this is done. So, add blow-off. We'll decide on a gimmick later. These guys can still go. Yeah, this could go for a while. Uh, book that. Um, this is this done. This is blowing off. It just never got more staleness, but that's okay. Hey, it was good. Yeah. This is still going. Um, it's probably going to end in bullshit. Honestly, it's going to cost us, but I would I would be happy with this to end in actual um, bullshit. Like, we pay the stars for bullshit. All right. Add blow off here. You know, we could throw a segment in, I think, where Sex Panthers break up afterward. Absolutely. Let me make sure that's possible. Tag Sex Panthers. Uh, team. Team. Disband team. Is it just cutting ties or is there one where they split? New part. No, okay. So just cutting ties. Um. Let's add a producer focus to that. Let's get it's Jessica. Bronze. Yeah. It's bronze and uh, Slick Wagner Brown is still not. You know, at least two. Oh, that's fine. Um, Alex Shelley, Slick Wagner Brown. Book. There we go. Put it after the tag team title. <clears throat> I think that's actually hotter than that. This goes down. Okay, uh, so what other promos did we want to cut? Let's do um, let's do a main event hype. That's yeah. always good. Always good to get in. My mind is is erased here. Uh, main event package booked. Um, <clears throat> is there some way we could book event package for pay per view eight months from now and then do it every week until? <laughs> Sorry, I was taking over the spirit of Tony Khan. Continue. Would you like to talk to me about how my, my booking is unfair and bullshit? No, you're not booking Jinder Mahal. Oh, okay. I suppose I'm not. Uh, all right. Um, I feel like we can have Jimmy Jacobs slander the competitor. He better. Right after the pure title match, by the way. Absolutely. Not New Japan. Wrestling the Pro Revolution. Revolution. Book that. He doesn't need help. Right there. Yep. Okay. Um, that's our feuds. That's our... All right. So, but who gets the ladder match? Who gets the ladder match, uh, I think, could be the main event. Could be the main event. Could yeah. be the tag titles, too. The tag titles is, is more open for scummy bullshit. It's funnier if it's the tag titles. Okay. Then we don't have to pay for on for on match bullshit. That's assumed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. The, they use the fact that it's no DQ to do some nasty stuff. Yeah. To just be ass to be schemy, cheaty assholes. And the the uh, Sex Panthers can't, can't hack it, and then they... You know what? It's a, a, I think they done. keep messing with the rift in them. I think, like... You know, they do the thing where, like, one guy whips whips him into into his opponent, or, like, you know, a guy's swinging, you know, haul, haul him back for a chair shot, and he ducks, and he hits his partner. I think Larry Sweeney, at one point, smacks Alex Shelley with a chair and then tosses it to uh, Slick Wagner Brown, and Wagner catches it on reflexes and... Then gets caught by Shelly, and he's like, what the hell, man? And he's like, no, I didn't. Because <laughs> they're a comedy tag team. I mean, yeah. you know. All right, good stuff. Uh, do we want to put other people on this card? Um, Show me three-star talents who aren't booked. Um, okay, we've got Rebecca Knox, technically. We've got uh, Daphne, technically. Got Kevin Steen actually, Kazuchika Okada actually. You know what that says to me? That says to me that Kevin Steen time to get his win back. Hmm. 
Um, <sighs> Leave it for now. We'll sort it later. Uh, we've got... Wow, the Briscoes are only two stars? That's really surprising to me. Uh, we could put them in a squash if we really wanted. Nah, I don't. Okay. Um, uh, it's a work rate. Good old Doug Williams. Good old four-star Doug Williams. Um, a lot of these guys are only three because they're over. El Generico's three natively. He is. Uh, I don't know who we would put him up against. I'm not sure. That, I mean, it's exactly the same level of yeah. performance in the game, so I don't care why they're three stars. Uh, he's tired, though. Like, yeah, let's, let's give him the week off. Doug Williams is not tired, and he's four stars. No, yeah. Is there is there someone he could fight? Could so, he fight yeah, Daphne? Let's go back. Uh, he could fight Rebecca Knox. I'm fine with that, yeah. she's She's got a decent win rate. There we go. All right. Okay. Where do we put these? Uh, just anywhere. Like they're just on the card. Yeah. They're just nearly guaranteed good matches, is what I'm thinking. Of. Yeah. I'm gonna put this closer. No. Nope. There we go. <laughs> well, yeah. That's what I was saying. Is is to have a nice break between that and this is a low stakes match. You know. <laughs> um. The only other thing I could think. Jay Briscoe. Yeah, neither of them have the silly thing. Otherwise, I was going to do a backstage barbecue. No we silly have segments. Them cut a Ring of promo. Honor people hate those. <laughs> yeah, they should have them do Let's a spirit of promo. promo. Yeah. Uh, tag team. Our fans Briscoe do not Bros. like silly segments. No, they don't. Um, spirited promo. Uh, do we have a producer to throw on that? We do. We have the good producer. They're both the good producer now. That's right, they are. I forgot. Um, again, we're we're just smoothing things down. Nice, nice refresh there. Okay, this looks like a show. We are blowing off the title feud. We are not blowing we're off not more straight edge. Um, we, we are blowing off Sex Panthers versus Sweet and Sour and Stevie. We are. Yep. We're not blowing off the pure feud, and we are blowing off Zack Saber and Coda. All sounds great. Okay. It's weird that it sounds strange without the junior, even though whoever talks about J Zack Sabre Sr. Because his name is Zack. It doesn't fit the so the song if you just true. if you don't have yeah. the junior in there. Yeah, that's true. That's that's the reason. Oh, Zack Sabre. <laughs> main event package it's is the effective. greatest main event package the world has ever seen. Uh, Doug Williams continues. Prince Nana dancing. Continues his... M Whoa, he ate Rebecca Knox's overnight. He's a troublesome bully. He is a troublesome bully. Uh, so who wins this? Who goes over? Yeah, Zack Sabre is less over. Um, Kota Ibushi might lose his hotness. It's really... It's Actually, what's trade. total popularity? 497, 497 versus 636. 36. Zack saying... can get a lot more out of this win. Yeah, all right, go Zack. Nice. And Ibushi didn't lose his overness. Zack Sabre Jr. got over. Lost most of a star due to sloppy performance. They put on nothing but bangers and choked at the pay-per-view. But it got Zack Sabre Jr. over. And it was so. a four and a half star feud. So that's fine. Brody Lee defends his title. Uh, do we add the bullshit here? You said you wanted to? I think it's worth it, right? right. Um, Cheating. Inter yeah, cheating. Just cheating. For the pure title, disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, and then Brody Lee wins. Brody Lee wins. Because, you know, the other members of the revolution come out and beat Nigel's ass. Okay, it's going to hit us with some fuel, feud staleness, but... Oh, no, it was hot, though, so who cares? Would have been a five-star match been a without five -star it. five-star match. Oh, well. Yeah, what? oh, well. It was worth it. Good call. Um, Jimmy talks shit. Good. Everyone agrees. Yeah, I don't know why they aren't watching Ring of Honor. Uh, Sweet and Sour and Stevie are successful. Sweet and Sour and scheming their way to the top of the car. Hell yeah. Increase even more for the ladder match. Um, the breakup went well. 
They walked away. They disbanded. Everyone, yep, Sex Panthers have disbanded. That's well, got to change their gimmicks. <laughs> I don't know that we do. No, we don't. It's fine. It's marking out right now. We'll we'll figure it out later and been like, why didn't we do this six months ago? What the hell? Uh, Kevin Steen gets his back. He is a hardworking fighter. Great match, guys. Almost five stars. Incredible. Um, started a winning streak. I didn't mean for that. I but don't care. Yeah, it's whatever. But he got another holy shit moment. Kevin Steen likes to kill people with chairs. Uh, suplexed him on the apron. It's the same thing he did yeah. last week. He's This is his thing. Kevin Steen has a secret rule that he likes to do suplexes and power bombs on the apron. Uh, the spirited promo went really well, especially thanks to Producus. Producer Focus. Producus. Producus. Thanks to the Producus. Um, who is winning here? Wow, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. You want me to just hit simulate? I, I really don't care. No, this is not whatever. All right, Punk good wins. job, Punk. Thanks for the five stars. See you next pay-per-view. Uh, Colt Cabana is victorious here. Yes. Um, over Jay Lethal. Jay is mad. Not quite as good as the preceding match, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, we had another... We oh, also did a winning streak. Another holy shit moment. Spat in Jay Lethal's face when he asked for a handshake. Ah, uh, because Jay would have tricked him. Jay probably had, like, brass knuckles on or something. <laughs> the camera cuts to show Jay with brass knuckles on behind his back. And, and, like, part of this whole thing has been that Colt is a nice guy, and he's trying not to let Jay's wickedness get to him, but he's done. He's not taking it anymore, and that was proof, and it really popped the crowd. <laughs> All right. $137 for a four-and-a-half-star show. All right. right, proud of our guys. This is the only time we might be able to beat one of our competitors is on pay-per-view. We must be on some obscure, like, the Ocho Network. <laughs> We're on one of Chris Jericho's cruises? Yeah. <laughs> We're on We did it! Yeah, we did it again. We fucking annihilated New Japan! Hell yeah, we did, dude. <laughs> We're not that far away from annihilating Power Slam on those buys. If Look, only... you might you might not you might not watch it on weekly, but you come to those pay per views. We might not have the biggest fan base, but all of them buy. This, this could be a problem. Maybe we should go recruit women real fast. Uh oh. Oof. Uh, Alex Shelley is doing what now? He is in a bad mood. So yeah, maybe. Honestly, are we doing anything with him? No, Wrestling Pro stole ICP. They said that last time too. Yeah, they did. Didn't they were they? still there. Um, Yuji Nagata's out for eight months with a herniated disc. Man, that one guy from that one show I did is going to be really upset. So sorry for you, one guy. I got a good offer from somewhere else. Please consider it seriously, says Alex Shelley. He's not in a great mood. That's 400 monies we could use to buy somebody else. It is. Um, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind keeping him, but he is going to be even more pissed off if we say no. So we'd have to work really hard to retain him. I'd say best of luck. Like, All right. business, business. On, on your head be it. I'm, I'm just goofing. We'll be fine. Wait, where's he going? NWA yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't care. care. It's not wrestling pro. Hey, he hopes to work with us again sometime. Oh, that's hey, nice. Man, like, you're not happy here. Yes! Go find your joy. We got Samoa Joe. <laughs> All these reassure failures. Oh, no. Samoa Joe's back. Stephen Walters does not sound familiar to me. Kyle O'Reilly. Hello, Kyle. Kyle O'Reilly is on the indies. Exciting. Recruitment success on Beth Phoenix. Hell yeah. Recruitment success on Austin Creed. And he's so excited, we get him for cheaper. You know what? This episode's already running long, but do you wanna? We can start the next one with the that's, bang. That's it's fair, fine. that's fair. Uh, homicide's mad. Um, Okada's happy. Oh, whole 16%. That's great. For no discernible reason, a cult following has developed around El Generico due to his everyman nature. Whether this grows or fades is yet to be seen, but he got a boost to his overness. That's great. <laughs> and we let go of Alex Shelley. Well, that's that's the show. I'm excited for the next one. Yeah. 